time now for our community update this morning. Joining us in studio this morning is Kewanee County Sheriff Matt Josky. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Truly a privilege. So three weeks ago, there was a threatening phone message that was left at Kiwani High School mentioning a gun, and then classes were canceled. Can you tell us where that investigation is now? Sure. That uh, incident is currently being investigated by the City of Kiwani Police Department, and uh, you know where it came from. It wasn't necessarily a local threat, as about as much as I can say at this point. Um, but I think it's important to note that in this world of technology, these threats are all taken seriously, and I think it's important with so many of these personal devices uh, floating around and the ability. Four threats to come from various locations around the country. But what's important to note is that we take them all very seriously. Whether this is an in person local threat or this is something that is uh, sent in or called in from a distant location, we and law enforcement, the school districts, everyone are going to take these threats seriously. And we did in this case, and it worked great with the schools. Um, Fortunately, of course, it did not manifest in anything, but it was a great example of how we came together, we enacted the safety plans, enacted the protocols, and really just worked great together as a team. Now, this is a good time to remind folks about the consequences of making such threats. Absolutely. Again, this is nothing that we take lightly. So people need to realize that, uh, you know, even if you're frustrated or you have some, some grievance, you know, with the, with the current situation, that is no way to react and respond. And we will take them seriously and charges will be forced. Forthcoming uh, when those investigations are completed. Now, you write an article for the Daily Newspaper to inform residents about important topics. You recently took on suicide awareness. Is that a big problem in the county? You know, it's a big, it's a big problem throughout our country, and Kewanee County is not exempt from it. And what's <laughs> important to note when it comes to suicide prevention is we do not have nearly enough professionals to be able to approach and address each one of uh, the, the, you know, the, the crises that come up. So what's important in suicide prevention is that we all have to be there for each other, and there are protocols. Uh, one of them is the, through in Kewanee County is called QPR, which is Question, Persuade, Refer. And really, it relies on the person, whether it's a family member or a friend. We all have to be willing to first ask that tough question, find out exactly what's on their mind, what are they thinking, and, and you know, allow them to open up about it. And the next thing is that persuade. That's probably the most important part, because I always compare it to sort of a tug of war. You know, the person that's struggling with um, suicide is, is in despair, is in darkness. So we have to offer hope. And it's literally that pull back and forth where they're, they're looking for reasons. Uh, it, for, for, you know, for failure of hope, and we're looking for reasons to embrace hope. So that's really what we have to offer. Any one of us can do it, whether you're 11 years old or 80 years old. We can all give each other hope and pull each other through these dark moments. But then you also should follow up and refer, which means that ultimately we do want to get them to the professional help that would help them in the long term. But what's important, again, is we're all to be there for each other, to offer those words of hope, encouragement, and be able to pull them through those dark moments. Another article was on winter traveling. What should people do when they are on vacation, going to be on vacation? So the big, the big thing, again, going back to where we are as a, as a culture, this idea of, you know, social media, be very careful, you know, who you're sharing that information with. You know, not putting out that, oh, yeah, you know, in two weeks we're heading to Florida. Be aware that we don't always know who's monitoring those pages, who's monitoring those Twitters. Um, so kind of keep that maybe a little bit closer to the vest. There are some people you do want to tell that you're traveling. You want to tell your bank. You want to make them aware that, hey, in the next few weeks you might see some transactions in places that I don't normally make transactions. It'll help your bank monitor that credit card and your accounts. You want to tell maybe a close trusted neighbor or family friend to keep an eye on your home. Uh, and, the, and ultimately, you also want to contact law enforcement. Most law enforcement agencies do offer a service where we can do what's called an extra patrol. And what it does is it, it just it puts it on the record for law enforcement. And when we're out there doing our daily patrols, it just kind of heightens us up that, okay, that's that house that we have to keep an extra eye on. You know, is there a light on? Is there a car in the driveway that shouldn't be? It's just another added level of security that we provide in Kewanee County. And speaking of winter, right now we're experiencing some very dangerous Arctic temperatures. What's your advice for people out there? Just as in anything, plan your travels. Uh, make sure, of course, your, your vehicles are in good shape. Uh, we see so many situations, especially early in the year, where people really kind of got caught off guard in regards to maybe the condition of their tires or the maintenance of their vehicle. You hate to have that um, you know, manifest itself at 2 in the morning on a dark road. So the first thing is make sure your equipment's in, in good condition. 
Uh, make sure you have appropriate equipment in the car. You know, throw in an extra blanket or maybe some, you know, winter gear. Uh, have that ready there as well. And let people know where you're going. If you're going on a trip, let people know. So if you don't arrive at your destination, it gives them a, at least a starting point, a route to check on, a jurisdiction to call into as far as where you may be. So just as in any trip, communicate with somebody. Let them know your route of travel, where you're going, in case things don't go as planned. Some very good information this morning. Thanks for joining us, Sheriff Jasky. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. All right, and let's take a look at our Skyview camera.